Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my 13 inch Apple MacBook Air. This is the latest 2010 model. Now there are two versions of this 13 inch MacBook Air. There's one with 128 gigabytes of flash storage, which is what I've got here. And that's gonna cost you a thousand and ninety nine pounds in the UK. There's also a higher capacity model with 256 gigabytes of flash storage. And that will cost you an additional 250 pounds with an asking price of £1,349. Well, I'm going to be showing you a series of videos with some add-on devices that will increase the storage capacity and save you some money. You might even find them a little bit more useful as well. So this is the brand new verbatim store and go hard drive for Macs. This is a 500 gigabyte version. It's got Firewire 800 and USB 3 connections. Now I'm going to be doing further tests on this one on a desktop machine because I think it's unfair just to give the performance results on the MacBook Air because this is only obviously USB 2. But this is a stunning looking drive. Let me just take this uh, top sticker off and give you a closer look. So it's a nice sort of mir mirrored finish, gloss finish on the top. We've got some little feet, rubberized feet on the bottom. Around the back, we've got room for an external power supply if you need one. Firewire 800 port, USB 3 port. Now, of course, this is compatible with uh, USB 2 as well. In the box, we have got a trio of cables. We've got one here, which goes into the power supply uh, socket on the back for if you need exter some extra power. To the drive we've also got the usb3 connector so usb3 on one end uh so, and on this end a normal usb connector so this is backwards compatible with usb2 you've also got a firewire 800 connection so for this video i'm going to test it using a usb2 connection but i will be bringing you some more results on this drive uh, connecting it via USB 3 and Firewire 800 just so you can see how this really high performance portable drive performs. So let's pop the USB connector in the back of the drive. Da, 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 around that way. So that's in the back of the drive. And then we plug the other end into the MacBook Air. Get this drive up and running. Now there is an LED light on the top here, top right hand corner. So you can, uh, if you want, uh, see that there's um, some activity going on there. Now let's pop that down on the desk, just so it's in view. So we've got it actually mounted on the desktop here. Let's run Xbench, because I'm running Xbench in all of these tests. Now at the time of doing this review, there wasn't actually any pricing on this new USB 3 and Firewire 800 drive from Verbatim. So <clears throat> I'm going to just give you a rough estimate of what it's going to cost. Now the USB 3 version of this costs around about 55 to 60 pounds. So I would imagine this new uh, combo connection on the back, the USB 3 and Firewire 800 version, is going to cost around about the 70 pound mark. So 70 pounds roughly for a 500 gigabyte drive. So let's get this Xbench test up and running. Now why this is running, I'll just let you know that the difference between the two MacBook Airs, so we've got 128 gigabyte version here. If you pay an extra 250 pounds, then you can get a 256 gigabyte version. So that's just gaining you another 128 gigabytes. Well, this external drive from Verbatim it's giving you 500 gigabytes. So instead of paying 250 pound for the higher capacity MacBook Air, you can pay an extra sort of 65 to 70 pounds for one of these, uh, and it's gonna save you, say 180 pounds, and you're getting a lot more storage capacity. So it's a, a very wise choice buying the lower capacity MacBook Air and then adding some external storage. This looks superb as well, really like the look of it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the results are coming in and I've already tested the internal flash storage on here and the internal flash storage achieved a maximum write speed of 156 megabytes per second 
and a maximum read speed of a phenomenal 185 megabytes per second. Now, this little hard drive is performing very well indeed. Maximum write speed is coming in at 37.64 megabytes per second and maximum read speed 38.22 megabytes per second. So that on the write speed is uh, the fastest or almost the fastest actually just by 0 0.01 of the external devices I've tested on the MacBook Air. So this is extremely good performer. It's very, very quiet in its operation. You can hear a very slight hum in there of the hard drive spinning around. Runs very cool, very compact unit. This is really nice. This is the verbatim store and go 500 gigabyte external hard drive USB 3 and Firewire 800. It performs extremely well over the USB 2 connection I got here. Highly recommended. Save yourself some money. This is the last in my series of the storage tests on the MacBook Air. Although I will be reviewing more hard drives in the future, this is the last in this series and this is probably one of my favourite products of all of the ones I've tested. I like the USB flash storage but for a portable hard drive this is absolutely stunning. Very very good price and well worth checking out. Please 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 do listen up. Buy the 128 gigabyte version of the MacBook Air. Save yourself £250 and then spend just a fraction of that £250 on an external hard drive or a USB flash storage device and and spend the rest of the money on something else treat your family or something but in the meantime i'm going to say goodbye uh, i'll see you in the next video please do keep watching please subscribe to the geeky noise channel if you like my content and most important of all enjoy your technology if you're a mac user or a pc user i just hope that you enjoy your tech and keep enjoying the geeky noise videos thanks very much for watching and i'll see you next time this video is sponsored by mymemory.co.uk for great prices, free UK delivery and reliable customer support visit mymemory.co.uk